pale ya mentor right honorable joel senyo nyine team yo naja koze nayo oku full mia budget ya feno etali ya etali nene nyo na ya tenge focusing ku bintu ebiyamba abantu ngegobera no mulamwa ogusitula edembe lya abantu edembe lya abantu sikwe ya galabwe ya gazi na ino ku enjoy ngobo kunyumirwa obo kwe ya galira mbintu ebyo bibasani do kwe ya galira mu mateka Ne okusingira dalo baka bwange wakati mu kubeba za olwo kuvayo ne budget yene nnungi ne biroze birungi mbajukiza bakulembeze bafe nti ebiroze birungi tubi tujana byo bibadenga biretebwa na ekizibu chetu ina te birozo bikoma kuletebwa ekizibu ekisinge kya Uganda ye nache malira yo eri mu 7 nga ye sente ze gwanga zonna zonna azimalira mu kwe ku mirambu yinza kugulirira abakulembeze ba mwetorode na kunyigiriza abantu so ekizibu kye tulina okusoko kujjawo ye nache malira mu 7 then tuberene dembe ebisasanya sente za Uganda si mu kwe jalabya naye mu kutereza ebyo ebisano kutasa abantu nga masomero nga malwaliro ne bilaifana nabo ebityo so baddo wulira mu parliament adali songa za commissioner wa moto sewa well sagala ensonge no nene ji reducing ku muntu omu a uh, ensonga jemba tesikonye ko ensonga yenguzi ekute ejembe ni wankubadde 
omu kufe na ye yalisanga monsonge yu na ye ama mkulira bebasingo kulia nguzi okugeza speaker wa fe wano speaker wa parliament ya Uganda ye nachi nku mkulia nguzi ele chow cheta goku ogeru wako nsi na ichimanya nsi ne mkulinga autu kubanga sente zono nebuwa parliament ya nesobolo kuchusobola mbwaba antu bonji nyo so obolibu nguzi ye kansa ayono nye Uganda kati chafuka institutional enguzi ya fuka angeli ya kwe kumida mbu inza na angeli ya kukakanya bafuganya government so enguzi inge kule mberu anita mongo speaker wa wano no munga mulimu sibo kabo kaba enari mnaenga mulimu na abafe chizibu nyo era na chotu ino chiru anisa ate tuja chiru anisa fenga NUP tuja kukola kukozi sebi kolo wa sibi gambo wetu ino bu inza wona ukulu anisa enguzi na etu agala na buli chitongo lecha government Chikoso bu inzo obo ukulu anisa enguzi kuwe enguzi ya sisigiza yugane mabiga Ensonga yobu talo talo mwe banama ulire mwe abajite kawo Tewali lutalo rona rona. Ukule kango ngamanti ukule chitufu luba lutalo. Ukule chitufu luba lutalo, then tulimu lutalo. Ile tu inu kumera mulutalo. Ngatulu wa njise nguzi, ngatulu wa njiso buli yake, ngatulu wa njiso buli nache marira, do luba lutalo. So, si mchibina chafe. Nzendo uza mchibina chafe, tuandiba denga echo ukula bilako. Buli muntu, kaberenga speaker wa pari ya meti ya, gude, ya, kute, ya lide nguzi, kaberenga minister, na kanga vuluwa ngabe chino kubeda. Fenga NUP, Tuba wa chakula bilako, tuli option. Era mu Uganda mpya, betu bikola, betu jobu bikola, ngatumazo kukuma na chema lila. Kukanyo kukendeza kuogera kwange, ku, uh, kukuka kanya, ate kusa kuba memba bange, benkule mbela mochibina. Njaga la nyonjo gere kusonga, ezigasa eguanga liona. Kati budget yenu, siya NUP yoka. Wabula e reflectinga ekifana ncha opposition yona. So, sagala, Ensonga za NUP ya tenzi ingi zembibine bilara. Jaga na njogele kuchintu. Echigasa egwanga liona liona. Si chibina choka nga NUP. Webali nyo webali nyo. It is unfortunate that we live in a country where the leadership thinks or the rulership thinks that when somebody commits a crime, you have to negotiate their release. If somebody commits a crime, then let the evidence be presented. Let them be presented in a competent court and let them be either convicted or acquitted. We are not going to negotiate our rights. We believe in the rule of law. If there is the rule of law in Uganda, let it work. If the courts function in Uganda, let them work. Our brothers and sisters who are in prison for the longest time, the political prisoners, are innocent, and we continue to demand their unconditional release. We are not going to negotiate because if you ask us to negotiate, what do you want to us to give in exchange for our freedom? Bobo ya gala tute isaganye no mtu, nga kuteba ganda bafe, nga tebae na musangu. O ya gala fetu muwechi, atuweba ganda bafe. Kumanga chibamba sibira, dembe ya abu. Ate dembe ya abu edyo, sibe tegefu diwa ayo. Nebibana atebwa, baja kusigalanga baya enile dembe ya abu. So siri ya kutee sako, na ye, ya abu eba ange kuba constitution ni garantinga. How uh, uh, much are simple? Well, everything we do, we do it in the open. We are a transparent political party. And what happened was in public. The information came from the public domain, and we dealt with it as our morality levels permit. But the speaker responded later. The speaker is a criminal herself. The speaker is a criminal, so we don't really have time to exchange with criminals. Thank you very much. At this moment, at this moment, your party, won't this affect the potential alternative policies? The so-called internal conflicts are a creation of the media. As you have seen, so many TVs have been on, o, 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 out, you know, on rampage, trying to create okay. a non-existent uh, impression that we have conflicts. No, they are not conflicts. The only conflict we have is with criminality, is with corruption. And we deal with corruption uh, as people that know that corruption is a cancer that has bedeviled our country. Thank you very Maybe much. Maybe lastly. Itali nene nyo, na ya kengi kukasi nga kumitu. Ibi amba abandu. Ngobili ya nomola mwa. Uskula, itembeli abandu. Itembeli abandu. Sikuwe ya kalabwe ya kazi. Na ino ku, injo yungo boku. Kukwe ya kari rambu yungo yungo. Iba sandi kukwe ya kari rambu yungo yungo. Ne uksi ingira ndaro waka wange. Wakati mkubeba za kuru kufayo ni baji chene. Itembi uo zebi nungi. Mbaji ukizaba kulembe zebi. Ibi uo zebi nungi. 
Ebyo, well, Sagala in Songa no Nenegi reducing a common form, in Songa Jemba de Sconyako in Songa Yenguzi, a putte a jambe. No one could be Omukufe, Naya Sanga, Songa, Naye, Abam Kurira, the Basingo Kuyanguzi, Okugeza, Speaker of Fewan, Speaker of Parliament of Uganda. So, we do know we inza one now, Kurani Senguzi, Netu Agala, Nabu Chitongo, the Chaka government, Chikoso, we inza over Kurani Senguzi, Wenguzi, Rubaru Taru. The college took for Rubaru Taru, then to the Murutaru, let you know Kubera Murutaru. But Rurani Senguzi, but Rurani Sobuyake, but Rurani Sobanache Marida, do Rubaru Taru. So, see Mutivina Chapel, and then those are Mutivina Chapel, Tuandiba Denga, Echo Kurabirako, Purimuntu. Kaberenga speaker wa parliament ya kute ya kute ya lide nguzi Kaberenga minister na kanga purua nga bachino kubeda Fenga NUP tuba wa chakula bidako tuli option Nidamu yugane mpia kwe tubikola kwe tujo bikola katumazo kukuma na chema lini Saga la nyo kukendeza kukera kwange kukakanya ate kusa kuwa memba bange Bempulembera Many of our evidence Nolwe nsongeyo baina okuyimbulwa embagirawo awatali kwa kulizo kubati baina musango bobaba baina musango baletewe mu koti bavunaniwe omusango kubake mu vi bobaba kusinge bejerere so sikutesa ganyana bo iye nkola ya chiyekera tukirizganya nayo tukirizganya mu fuga ya mateka era bo tunatwa lukuyiza ye fuga ye tujjo kutambulira in a country where the leadership thinks or the rulership thinks that when somebody commits a crime, you have to negotiate their release. If somebody commits a crime, then let the evidence be presented, let them be presented in a competent court, and let them be either convicted or acquitted. We are not going to negotiate our rights. We believe in the rule of law. If there is the rule of law in Uganda, let it work. If the courts function in Uganda, let them work. Our brothers and sisters who are prison, in prison for the longest time, the political prisoners, are innocent and we continue to demand their unconditional release. We are not going to negotiate because if you ask us to negotiate, what do you want to us to give in exchange for our freedom? Bobo yagala tute isaganye no mundu, nga kute baganda bafi nga tiba ina musangu, o yagala fetu muwechi atu baganda bafi. Wanga chibamba sivira, dembe ya wa, ate dembe ya wa edu, sive teke fudiwa ayo. Nebivana atewa, baja kusikalanga baya enile dembe ya wa. So siri ya kute sako, na ye, ya wa eba ange kupa constitution miki garanti. How far have you gone with that in the issue of commission and Well, everything we do, we do it in the open. We are a transparent political party. And what happened was in public. The information came from the public domain and we dealt with it 
as our morality levels permit. The speaker is a criminal herself. The speaker is a criminal, so we don't really have time to exchange with criminals. Thank you very much. The so-called internal conflicts are a creation of the media. As you have seen, so many TVs have been on, out, you know, on rampage, trying to create. You know that corruption is a cancer that has bedeviled our country. Thank you. Maybe lastly, what I don't think that says you are under siege. I don't know how. What's your take on this statement? Well, we major on majors and minor on minors. Thank you. Dad. Friends, many good proposals have been presented in terms of policy alternatives, in terms of laws, by ourselves and other leaders. But let us be honest, no matter how good our thoughts are, no matter how beautiful our proposals are, they shall never see the light of the day for as long as dictator Museveni is still in charge of this country. That is my firm belief. Yes. We must continue telling Ugandans the truth as it is, instead of, you know, misleading them with eloquent speeches. We must paint to them a picture of the problem, and you need to go ahead and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no? He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's a living testament of corruption. He's a testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock. He is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. These cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you, once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as the citizens of Uganda. The only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country. And after having that, then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe, or social class. To build a Uganda where leaders lead with integrity, where leaders are true servants and citizens are the true masters of their destiny. So let us use this resource that we have to put an end to this dictatorship. Let us use this resource to change this country 
once and for all. I thank you for listening to me, for God and my country. ...and point at where the problem is. The man who has ruled our country for almost 40 years now is not just a political opponent to us, no? He is the embodiment of Uganda's problems. He's the living testament of corruption. He's the testament of oppression. He is the embodiment of the abuse of all democratic principles. In a nutshell, he is the roadblock, he is the stumbling block between Uganda and its progress. So let us face the reality and deal with the reality as it is. It's until you diagnose the problem that you'll be able to deal with that problem. I mean, he and his cronies live in extreme luxury while our hospitals are sick and our schools are rotting away. Yes, we have alternative policies. Yes, we have brilliant minds here in Parliament, you know, wonderful at economics, wonderful at debating and all that. But we shall debate, we shall propose, and we shall articulate issues. But let me be clear to you, once again, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how good our alternatives are, no matter how well-intentioned you, our MPs, are, it won't make any difference for as long as we don't have any power to implement those good ideas. We must get used to that fact and deal with that fact exactly the way it is. I mean, we can draft the most comprehensive budgets, we can allocate funds meticulously, we can strategize endlessly, but as long as Museveni remains at the helm, the efforts will all be like rearranging cups on a folding table. We must channel all our energy. We must channel all our passion and all our abilities and all our determination towards one singular mission, removing the dictator and reorganizing the country as a citizen of Uganda. That is the only way this is going to be possible. So I continue to encourage all of us here present and those watching us outside that we must do what we must do. You cannot take a step unless you unlock your feet. So for now, what we have as a great resource is our collective determination and collective will to have a free country and after having that then we shall go ahead to build a Uganda where all Ugandans are equal regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of where they come from, regardless of religion, tribe or social class. We shall go ahead to build a Uganda where leaders lead to uh, the right honorable leader of our parliamentary front, uh, honorable members of parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, allow me also add my voice to send heartfelt condolences to friends, families and comrades of Sarah Eperu and I continue to pray that the Almighty rests her gentle soul in eternal peace. It is an honor today for me to share my thoughts with you this morning as we launch uh, our alternative budget policies for the new financial year. The theme for today is a reflection of our vision for a new Uganda, a Uganda whose resources are exploited for the benefit of the citizens and not for the benefit of a select few individuals. A Uganda that protects and, prote and promotes dignity and basic freedoms and rights for every citizen. A Uganda that puts interests of the people, the citizens, at the forefront of public policy. The alternative budget priorities presented today recognize the plight of the ordinary Ugandan whom the leaders derive their mandate from and also paint a clear picture of what we intend to do in order to make Uganda 
a country that works for every Ugandan. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugandans deserve better health care, they deserve better education, and they deserve better infrastructure in order for them to live their full potential and benefit and enjoy all their fundamental rights. Because education is essential for producing skilled workers, a workforce that will transform communities, it's therefore important that our children study subjects and courses that are relevant to their passion and natural abilities. We cannot achieve without changing, we can't achieve this without changing or in fact overhauling our entire education system and realigning our education.